looking to drastically improve your aim, accuracy, and gun skill, but at the same time, want to bump up your stick sensitivity, you came to the right place. I have some new controller settings that allow you to play on the highest sensitivity possible, but still have accuracy as if you're on the lowest setting. If that sounds good, feel free to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and those post notifications, and I also have a tutorial on how you guys can use and abuse the aim assist. All right, so as far as the controller settings go, you guys can see I play with an Xbox Elite controller on PC with one paddle on the back set up for jumping. Now, I'm gonna add, these settings are gonna work no matter what controller you guys are playing with. An Xbox Elite, a regular Xbox controller, PS5, PS4, Scuff, Battle Beaver, it does not matter. Also, I do have a hand cam in this video so you can follow my motions to understand what's going on and so you can use and abuse the aim assist properly. And also, if you do decide to pick up an Xbox Elite controller, I do have the link at the top of the description. If you do pick one up, it does help me out. I thank you in advance. Now, for the button layout, I do play on Tactical. Tactical is going to be the best button layout no matter what control you guys are playing with. It's going to allow you to remap your crouch and prone button so you can do a drop shot while aim down sight, allowing you to win more close range engagements and overall get in and out of cover a lot easier, keeping you alive, and that's going to be a massive W here in multiplayer. Now, I do recommend turning off your vibration because this is going to be unnecessary movement in your controller throwing off your long range accuracy. Anything we can do to increase long range accuracy, we're gonna take advantage of. Now, luckily within the dead zone inputs, you can go ahead and customize your own dead zone setting depending on your controller health. Now, for the aiming, you guys can see here, I have now increased my sensitivity. You guys can play in the four to seven window. That's what I recommend. You can go crazier, but at the same time, it is highly advised to increase your sensitivity if you are going to follow these instructions. Now, six, seven, eight is going to be on the higher end. It can be done, but I recommend playing on either a six or a seven if you're trying to increase your stick sensitivity and at the same time maintain accuracy over range. This is going to be for horizontal as well as vertical. Now, this is where things are going to get pretty interesting. I have reduced the ADS sensitivity in multiplayer from 0.75. I reduced it to 0.65. That's when I was playing on a 5. Every time I go ahead and increase my sensitivity, I'm going to go ahead and reduce it some more. I'm playing on 0.55. This is going to eliminate any type of stick play in your controller at longer ranges. So it's going to be like glue on the sticks. Even though you're increasing your sensitivity, you're still going to be laser accurate at longer ranges, and that's what matters. That's going to allow you to essentially perform a, you know, 180 turn on somebody. You can have more mobility and overall just maneuver the map a little bit easier, but at the same time, be locked in at longer ranges. Now, in order to help this out even more, I've also adjusted my aim assist response curve type to linear. Now, I used to play on dynamic. Linear is going to allow you to go ahead and have a locked in aim assist rate so you can be as accurate as possible at longer ranges. And this is going to be a lot easier because we have reduced that ADS sensitivity in multiplayer. I will go ahead and explain this in the video when I do show the hand cam portion. So I recommend switching from dynamic to linear and also reducing your ADS sensitivity and multiplayer. This is incredibly important. You want to reduce this. It's at one by default. Putting it at 0.65 is going to be nice, but 0.55 that's where things are going to get really interesting and you're going to allow yourself to increase your sensitivity. Again, the window, the window is going to be between four to seven. Six is going to be that nice middle ground where you can go ahead and turn on players. I think a lot of you guys will enjoy playing on a higher sensitivity instead of being on, you know, three to four, which I feel like a lot of people are running if they're trying to drastically improve their aim as well as accuracy. Now, we cannot go ahead and forget the aim assist type. We're going to be running Black Ops. Black Ops is going to be the best aim assist type here in Modern Warfare 3, allowing us to have a little bit of stickier aim, and that's going to be very important when bumping up your sensitivity and still maintaining accuracy at those longer ranges. So definitely go ahead and adjust this. Black Ops, linear, 
get off of dynamic, go to linear, and make sure you are adjusting your ADS Infinity multiplayer from the default one to 0.55 with an increased sensitivity setting. Six is gonna be perfect to allow you to turn on players. But again, if you want to go crazy, you can, but in all reality, it is not necessary. And then finally, under the graphic settings, you're going to want to set up your FOV to the 100 to 120 FOV range and make sure your ADS field of view is set to affected. This is going to allow you to control the recoil, control the recoil a lot easier at longer ranges and overall make the game a hell of a lot smoother. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. <laughs> All right, so the next thing you want to do after you select your new settings is to jump into a private match against recruit bots to get a feel for everything. There's absolutely no shame in doing this. I do it every single time I make a drastic change to my sensitivity as well as aim assist type because the game is going to feel a lot different. And for those of you who are now bumping up your settings, I recommend doing this in a private match so you're not getting frustrated in a public match. Now, we're going to be taking a look at centering as well as snap aiming. That's going to be even more important. I've spoken on this in previous videos. It's going to be even more important now because we are running on a higher sensitivity. Now, this is something you want to get used to. You can see there is a white dot at the center of the screen here. I'm zooming in on it so you guys have an idea on what I'm talking about. This white dot has to be at the center of the screen at all times. And what I mean by this, every time you turn a corner, go into a alleyway, a doorway, you want to make sure that white dot is at the center. And this is where the aim assist is going to lock on hard here in Modern Warfare 3. Now, because we are playing on a higher sensitivity, we are going to be utilizing the aim assist a little bit more because we're going to be moving around a little bit quicker. We're going to be able to snap on players that are behind us, on the side of us. We want to be able to take out people as quickly and accurately as possible. And this is how you're going to be chaining together, centering and snap aiming. Now, you're going to see right here, because we are going to be utilizing centering and snap aiming, I'm able to take out three targets incredibly easily and incredibly fast without actually having to go ahead and adjust my aim at all. I personally did nothing there. The game took care of everything because the white dot was at the center of the screen. And now that we have settings that are going to be zeroing in on accuracy at longer ranges, the game is going to kick in that aim assist and take people out essentially almost for you if you are on controller. I'm gonna go ahead and rewind that again so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, as I turn the corner, you can see it lock on, boom, boom, boom. I immediately took out those extra two players. Now, what I also did during that clip is I quickly unzoomed and resume back in. That's what's gonna be called snap aiming. Now, again, I've already spoken on this on the channel, but because we are bumping up the sensitivity, it's very important that you're not dragging your crosshair if you are seeing more than one player on your screen that are in close proximity. Let the aim assist take care of everything. It's going to quite literally lock on from player to player to player without you having to do anything, and it's gonna be quick and easy kills. And because the TTK is slower in Modern Warfare 3, that is going to be incredibly important to make sure you are doing and you're not unnecessarily missing shots that you would not miss if you were to let the game take care of everything for you. Now, right here, you guys can see the sensitivity is a little bit higher, but at the same time, while aimed down sight, it's still going to be like glue on the sticks. Now, at longer ranges, because we are playing on a 0.55, we're going to have less stick play. So it's not going to be as annoying if you were to kind of not have it at 0.55 and accidentally come off of the extra player that you might be able to take out on your screen. That's why I reduce it. So everything essentially is slow while you're aimed down sight. But when you're not aimed down sight to go ahead and flick the next player, it's going to be fast. And that's what's going to be incredibly important when you know, building the right settings for your type of play style. This is going to work if you are an aggressive player. This is going to work if you're somebody who isn't necessarily aggressive. It's overall going to speed up the gameplay, but at the same time, 
it's going to slow everything down when it actually matters at longer ranges and that's going to be super important now right there that's what i'm going to be talking about that snap aiming there was two players in close proximity one was on a head glitch one wasn't instead of dragging my crosshair i simply quickly unzoomed and zoomed back in i'm gonna go ahead and rewind it to let you guys see what i'm talking about boom boom i unzoomed and zoomed back in i'm gonna hold it, go ahead and show it again so you guys understand what i'm talking about i unzoomed and zoomed back in rotate this way boom boom as soon as i unzoomed and zoomed back in it locked on to the next player and because the aim down sight times on a lot of these weapons in modern for three is faster than in modern for two and other previous call of duty games snap aiming centering is going to be incredible on this game you guys saw it again right there i'm going to go ahead and rewind it whenever there are multiple players on your screen you're going to want to make sure that you are essentially unzooming and zooming back in so you can lock back on to the next player it's not cheating it's not hacking it's simply using the aim assist how it was intended on controllers and allowing you to now play on a higher setting now again right there again i unzoomed and zoomed back in and was able to lock on to those players it's going to be incredibly effective especially now that we are playing on a higher sensitivity setting than normal this is one of the only call of duty games where i've actually deviated from the standard three four because in modern warfare 2 i started off on a three i bumped it up to a four i played on a five for a little bit really wasn't feeling it so i went back to a four when this game came out it was all over the place i was on a three i was on a four i was on a five i was on a six i had a bunch of different settings i was running with but i finally found a sensitivity setting and also aim assist type combination that allows me to move around the map transition from target to target to target but at the same time i'm allowing myself to play the game at a faster rate and i feel like that's what a lot of us are trying to do you saw right there boom 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 you're able to take out players incredibly easy here in this game when you are running a higher sensitivity and the correct settings that's why i'm making a tutorial in this video and i have the hand cam so you can follow it because there's one thing just taking somebody's settings but you also have to understand how to use the settings at longer ranges right there i didn't even control anything i let the game take care of the aim assist by itself and it locked onto that player so this is something you, you guys definitely should go ahead and utilize and take advantage of if you have been struggling at long range engagements and if you're trying to go ahead and speed up your gameplay but at the same time not really go ahead and lose that accuracy at longer ranges that you would gain by playing on a lower sensitivity because you guys can see here right there that was a stupid play obviously it's in private match you kind of you know get a feel on you know what you can and cannot challenge in pubs but for the most part you guys can see right there as soon as i unzoomed and zoomed back in if I had extended mags, I would have been able to take him out. Now, I'm going to go ahead and rewind the gameplay here just so you guys can see here. This is what I'm talking about. Unzoomed. As soon as I zoom back in, the crosshair, the reticle, automatically went ahead and locked on to that next player. I didn't do anything. It locks on immediately, and you're able to take out players incredibly easily at longer ranges. Boom, right there. I'm not doing anything. Just simply letting the game just everything for me and that's exactly why these settings are going to be perfect here in modern warfare 3 if you're trying to drastically improve your aim and accuracy again right there i'm going to re rewind the clips you guys can see what i'm talking about two guys in close proximity the game simply boom i unzoom quickly locked on immediate headshot that is exactly what happens when you are running the correct sensitivity an abasis type combination and that's exactly why i feel that a lot of people are struggling with modern warfare 3 because they're not running the right settings they're not utilizing what's given to them and this is something that i believe every single controller player should be taking advantage of right now here in modern warfare 3 especially because we have cross play these are going to be the absolute best settings to run here in bottom for three after the recent update again if you're trying to drastically improve your aim 
accuracy as well as gun skill but at the same time jacking up that sensitivity settings make sure you guys go ahead and give this a go again i highly 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 recommend you guys jumping into a private match against recruit bots to practice these drills centering and snap aiming so you can get a feel for the aim assist and truly take over multiplayer matches i'm gonna say this again this is not cheating it's not cheating it's not hacking it's not being unfair this is simply using what the game is providing and understanding how you can play faster but at the same time still be accurate so if you guys enjoy and this video did help you guys out you end up tearing it up in public matches feel free to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and those post notifications in your boy ears i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one there's